Hi there, in this video I will show you how to add a membership widget to your website using Web Starts. A membership widget is the perfect way to create a database of your customers and you can then give your customers a username and password so that when they return to your website they can log into a members only area. So let me show you what I've done with this website here is I've added the membership widget to the top right hand corner of my page and I've given my site visitors the option to sign up and here they can sign up to become a member or log in they click there and if they enter their email and their password they can log in as a member of my website so let me show you how I added that to my website and where you can manage the settings concerning the membership feature. I now find myself in the Web Starts Editor. Now, it's important to remember that the membership feature is part of a Web Starts Pro Plus plan. So if you haven't upgraded your account, you must upgrade your account in order to access the app. Clicking on the Apps tab, I open up the app panel and choose membership by clicking on it and then the first question says would you like to make this page accessible to members only and for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to choose no but if you want to prevent people from seeing the particular page that you are about to add the widget to then you would choose yes in other words you can essentially hide this page from the public by making it members only and clicking yes but for the demonstration I'm choosing the no option I then click continue and it says choose the page from the drop down below to send your members to after they log into your website so once a member has logged into my website I have to choose a page where I would like them to be sent to and that's the page they'll view once they're logged in. I click continue when I'm ready and then we move on to the next question. How do you want to approve members? You can choose to approve members either automatically or you can manually approve members. If you automatically approve members then when somebody signs up to create an account they'll then immediately be able to log in using their username and password. If you choose to manually approve members, you must first manually approve a member before they're able to log in to their membership account. I'm going to choose the option I will approve new members manually and click continue. In just a moment, I'll show you where you can go to manage your members. Well, my setup is complete, so now the only question remaining is whether I want to have a login widget displayed on this page. And for this example, I'm choosing yes because I want to show you what it looks like when you add the membership widget to a page. So I click finish and I now have a little box that says sign in and log in. And then you'll need to change the colors of the link and the font to whatever you selected. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm also going to align that text to the right. And I'm going to place it in the top right hand corner of my website. When I'm happy with what my widget looks like, I click save and then those changes are published to my live website. Now going to view what that membership widget looks like on my site and here if I click sign up or log in those things are displayed. So now I'll walk you through signing up for an account and then you'll see where I go to manually approve members. So for the demonstration, I'm going to use my login info or my personal info. Create a password and I simply choose to sign up now. And you can see that a message is displayed indicating to your site visitor that they've signed up and that all new accounts are approved manually and they'll receive an email once they're able to log in. I click close and now as my site administrator I go back to my dashboard and under me the members tab from the dashboard view you'll see I have one new member 
and the information about that member and then the status. If I would like to approve that member, I just click on where it says not approved and then the member is approved. Of course, I can delete the member at any time and I can select to approve, disapprove, or delete members at any time as well as add new members here. To edit your membership widget, go back to the Web Starts page editor, select the widget, and then click on the pencil icon. You'll then be walked through the membership setup wizard one more time and you can change any of the options. So for example, if I wanted to change a page from being viewable by non-members to only being viewable by members, I would answer the first question as a yes instead of no and then click continue. So in this example, I click continue. If I wanted to send my members to a different page other than the contact page, for example, to the home page after sign up, I would do that and click continue. Of course, you can go back at any time if I want to change one of the selections that I've made. I'm going to leave the rest of these the way that they are. Click finish and my widget is updated. Click save and those changes are published to my live website. So now if I go back here and I log in again, you should see that I'm now taken back to my home page. I'll actually just stay on my home page when I'm logged in, but you can see that it says uh, log out up in the right hand corner indicated that I've successfully logged into my membership account. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit webstarch.com to build your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.